This instrument right here, Scalar, this is the key to everything right here. Sca I did everything in Scalar. I built up the chords in Scalar. Scalar is a great instrument. You can use it to find chords. I'll give a review on this later, but I just wanted to just touch on it real quick to let people know that Scalar is a great instrument, especially to all the producers that listen to my type of music or the things that I do. Scalar can really help you speed up your production and your workflow. Not only that, you can use it as a tool to learn. We have D in Phrygian mode. Here it says exotic Latin lively. If we were to play this, that's the scale, all right? Just the major third. You, ha you have all of these. And as you can see that, you see how this is played? It's in four octaves. You can change, you can have a diatonic, you can change it into voicings, variations, you can change the variations. So what I did is I kind of played out what I, what I heard when I listened to the scale and I saw what can go together. And I love this because it can play it in a particular pattern. As you can see, rest in between these. So I got D, D minor, G minor, B major, E major. And that's pretty much, it's kind of like, Trap 101. Um, once I did that, I did a MIDI capture, grab that MIDI capture, and I drug it onto the actual pad. So let's go into the chorus. The chorus is right here, and this is how the chorus sounds, pretty much. Now, I know that's kind of robotic. If you wanted it to sound kind of, I want to say more humanized or dynamic, you do have options in Scalar that can make it sound more humanized. Or let's say if you wanted to go to the pads, you can actually change the actual, you know, the measures of the bar. And then you can start doing things like dragging certain portions back just to give it that kind of that feel like someone's arpeggiating the notes or, you know, and adding different dynamics and character to the notes, you know, just pulling it back on the grid. Let's get into the next instrument, a 808. You know, I just did a typical trap pattern. There's nothing too authentic about it, nothing too crazy about it. Just went off what I heard in my head and I just played this trap pattern right here. Then I came up with another, you know, a different little variation, just changes up a little bit. And you really hear it. It's more in the snare rolls and the in the in the kick. And then I came up with this variation as well. One thing I, I made sure that I did is I had to come to my my kick and I had to compress that kick because the 808 can really drown out that kick. So even though the 808, some people put their 808s on a different pad, my 808 is right here in this pattern right here in this drum group. So I just compressed or side chained it so that whenever the kick comes through, the 808 ducks. And that's why you hear the kick now is more prevalent. Cause it was not prevalent. That 808 was drowning it out. So now I wanna kinda get into this. This is a native instruments instrument. It is called the Super 8. This is the Super 8. It's a great synth. I like, I'm starting to experiment more with it and just kind of get more into it. It's got great sounds. Like if I were to play just something. But I'm, I'm not going to audition every sound. I'll do a separate review for that. As you can see here, it has two oscillators, a filter, and amp. Also, it has two voices. This is not the review. I just wanted to say a little bit on it, okay? And really, all I used this for was a little bit of character to the sound. So all you really hear is this. Let me explain a couple things. To find the key, sometimes I use this app right here called the Hornet. Years ago, I found out about this by listening to a Craftmaster Productions, and this is something that he recommended. Not only that, I have the, the VST Water. It's kind of like ROM, just, you know, it's more like a, it just gives more width to your sound. And then I have Tape Mellow File in there. So I'm adding different characters to it. Uh, I'll give a review on this as well. Make sure you go out and get this. It is free until December 31st. After that, you're gonna have to pay for it. I really love this right here. The Scarby Rickenbacker bass is one great instrument. It is just 
one great instrument. So, you know, I just, you know, sometimes I'll add different effects to it, but I just, it's a great sounding bass. This pattern right here, I actually made in Scalar. And then I did little things to it to add little, you know, dynamics to it. The chords going up or the fingering going up. And then I just made different variations of that. As you can see, the note changes right before it gets to the start of the third bar and towards the ending of the fourth bar, you'll see different change ups. And I did that quite a bit just to add different, net, different different dynamics. I kind of did that for the bass and the bass sounds like this. So this instrument right here is Session Guitarist. This is my guitar. I have this right here. I actually love this right here. Add life to the track just to make it feel a certain way. This is what I came up with from Scalar, dragged it, dropped it right in, and this is what I got. Yeah. Here's something I wanna highlight and bring out. Do you see my CPU? If you look up here while it's playing, the CPU is jumping. Since the CPU is jumping, what I like to do is I'll grab this as an audio file. I'll hold on to it. I'll wait, export that bad boy just like this. Once it's exported, then I'll take it and I'll drop it here, okay? Now we have an audio file. And as you can see, now this is an audio file. What I'm gonna go up, do is go up to this contact and then I am going to mute this, all right? Not solo, but mute. So I'm gonna mute that, okay? And then I, I don't need these anymore. I can mute all of these, and I can just let it play, just like this. But that's kind of loud, so let me go here, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down like so, kind of to match this one. Let's go here into mixer mode and I'll fix it just like this. I'm gonna go into ideas mode as a song and then we're gonna play it like this. If you notice, I've got track mutes all throughout. I think it's Daniel Bryan. I saw his video and I saw how he did track mutes and his explanation. Great video. Go and check him out, Daniel Bryan. So this is what it actually sounds like right here. Let's go to the beginning. Booyah.
Hey, I want to thank each and every one of y'all that helped me get to 423 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the views, for watching, for helping me to get where I am right now. I didn't reach all my goals in 2021, but 2022 is going to be a bigger year. And we're going to go after them full steam ahead. Once again, thank you all. Please, if you're watching this for the first time, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to get content that you love. Comment in the bottom. Let me know what you like. I got a question for you. What are your goals for 2022? How did your 2021 go? Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. All right. Peace.